Today we're going to be talking about switching against cutters. This is important because with the fast and athletic cutters in today's game, we have to be able to relieve some pressure on the defense by switching players occasionally. The goal is to be able to stop the first cutter without leaving a second cutter open for a following cut. To do this, the switching player needs to see that initial cut as early as possible. Then we need to make sure that we point out the second player so that both players can pick up their new marks as quickly as they can. Last, both players need to get to tight defensive position and get out of a switching mode so that we can regain our tight defensive pressure. We'll use a two-on-two -two drill in a vertical setup to work on our switching technique. We have two cutters, disc and the thrower on the sideline, and we'll start with the cut from the back of the stack in three, two, one. Tyler's shifting out in the lane. He's seeing it. There, good. We're finding people and now getting sticky. Good. Excellent. As Leo is out here in the field, she's seeing Tyler and they're communicating verbally. That's going to give us a chance to get a block in the lane. Nicely done. In three, two, one. Good. Making the cut. Valentin, see it? Good. Jenny, you can take it. Get tight now. Get to your people. Good. Excellent. That gives us a chance of the block. Nicely done. By getting tight after the switch, we're able to make a play later. So we went switch and then tight to our people. Nicely done. In three, two, one. Good. Martine, see this cutter? Good. See it? See it go? Switch, switch, switch. That's good. On that switch, Martine's backing into the spot and trying to communicate. He's going to have to go before he communicates in order to get there in time. So we want to anticipate that as much as we can. Even as you're backing in, you knew that that was the switch. Go ahead and take it. Now we're going to work out of a horizontal stack. So we have two players spread wide and two defenders in Sam and Jenya that are still trying to run with their heads up and see if there are switch opportunities. We'll start with the cut from the middle. You can go, Tyler. Good, Jenya's piecing him. Now they're tight to their players, trying to get close and see if we have an opportunity. Nicely done. By staying wide, we can take those people and then we want to get back and tight right to their bodies and that's going to give us a block opportunity after we disrupt with the switch. Nicely done. To do this, the switching player needs to see that initial cut as early as possible. Then we need to make sure that we point out the second player so that both players can pick up their new marks as quickly as they can. Now with the force to the middle, we can still be heads up. So we're looking from here and trying to find that next cutter. And Tyler's going to see if he can pick up the switch. Ready and go. Sam's going to make his cut. You can dive out in the lane. There you go. Find that switch. Good. And freeze it there. Nicely done. You can see both players are getting close to their offensive player. So we've switched to stop the first cut and then we got back to that tight position. With the force middle, we're going to put some pressure on these middle defenders to try to stop things with switches or by staying tight. You can go. Good. There's that first cut. He's going to point out his switch. Nicely done. Good. And we're back up and on the mark. Nicely done. Now you can see that as Valentine leaves, he's trying to point out the switch and that's really going to help the next defender find it. Good. You'll know you're doing this well if the player that's being switched away from is not able to get the disc without making multiple cuts. Rise Up Season 5 brought to you by Five Old.